Hey, this is Paul Evans from NicheOlogy.com, and today let's talk about money-making autoresponder messages. That's just about a tongue twister. Now, when you have a series of money-making autoresponder messages, it is super important for the online business process. Well, that's obvious. But if your autoresponder copy is dull, if it's ineffective, it doesn't matter how big your list is because you're not going to make any sales. That's why it's critical that you understand how to write good copy before you get started. So after you sign up for your autoresponder account, you want to load it with messages that will gain people's trust and help you make sales. So in part one, we're going to cover four avenues for doing that, and then we'll cover four more in part two. So let's get started. Number one, you need to understand the difference between follow-up and broadcast messages. Now, if you're brand new, you may not know the difference. And it's really simple. A follow-up message or what the members of your list receive no matter when they sign up. This will usually be in a sequence that is delivered at a predetermined rate. For example, if Sally signs up on Tuesday, she'll receive follow-up message number one on Tuesday. If Tom signs up on Friday, he'll get that very same message, message number one, on Friday. Now that means your autoresponder sequence is your little relationship builder and salesperson 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year because your follow-up message are automated. Now, your broadcast messages. Now, these type are sent out to your entire list and they receive them at the same time. Sometimes it's called an email blast. And it's a great option if you have something to share that is not a normal part of the sequence. It might be a special announcement or a time sensitive or limited offer, a special deal, something like that. But you're going to get the best response if you're doing both. Your follow-up messages that go out automatically and your broadcast messages that go out when you have either a special announcement or there's a product launch or something like that is going on or if you just want to give something cool to your list. Now then, number two, think about how often you need to send these messages. Now, sometimes we get nervous. We're thinking, well, I don't want to mail too much. I don't want to mail too little. But there's no correct answer. There's no perfect answer. It depends on your niche, your relationship with your members, and what kind of information you share. For example, earlier this year, I started emailing my list almost daily or minimum three times a week and sometimes as many as seven times a week and I thought man you know there's no telling what that's going to create and it turned out to be incredibly positive the relationships became deeper I received a lot more interaction a lot more comments and it turns out as well that if I missed any days people would email and say hey what happened so it's really going to depend on your niche and if you offer a lot of value people probably want to receive more from you if you do nothing but make sales and that's it, you just pitch stuff, then most likely they don't want to hear from you as often. But you have to email regularly and contact regularly if you want to build any sort of relationship. So a good autoresponder will show you the number of people who click your message. It will also show you which messages were read the most. That way you can see the subject lines and the material the people responded to best. And what some marketers suggest is having one autoresponder message scheduled a week and perhaps an extra message after that. Well regardless, here's what is going to happen your people, the people on your list, are going to get used to hearing from you or get used to not hearing from you. But if you have a message that goes out, say, every Monday by broadcast, they'll come to look forward to that message. And number three, carefully craft your first message. And we all know that the first impression really counts. That's when you need to carefully write out your first autoresponder message. It's going to be the first impression that at this moment these strangers will have of you. Even if they really liked your website, they can unsubscribe real quick if they don't think you're going to offer anything of value. So your first message should almost never contain a sales pitch. It's your chance to prove that they want to remain on your list. You want to be warm, open, friendly. You want to consider offering a special bonus or a free surprise. Tell a little bit about your background, and not from an arrogant way, but what gives you a right to confiscate their time and attention. Don't brag, but simply say I'm someone that's worth listening to for these reasons. Maybe give a little bit of your background, but you want to put the relationship on the right path from the very beginning, and that way 
when sales do come along, they'll most likely go ahead and trust your presentation rather than doubting your presentation. And then number four for today, decide when to make your first sales pitch. Some marketers focus on making the sale right away and others focus on holding off for a few messages in sequence. Who knows? There is no perfect answer. Some people will say that it takes seven follow-up messages, uh, seven advertisements before we respond. I don't really know where these numbers come from. You can definitely look them up on Google and there'll be a lie there for you to believe. But when do people buy? Well, when there's a need, when they trust you, there's a bunch of different reasons. The key is to continue communicating so that when they're ready or there's a matching offer, you happen to be there. So when your members first sign up, give away some valuable information and then make your first sales pitch, not in any scientific way, but when it fits the messages that you've already presented, when there's something special that comes along that you believe matches this market, but don't get too scientific. There's no perfect formula. Instead, use this. Serve your market. Don't think, well, I'm going to give four messages, and then I'm going to make a pitch, and then they're going to buy. But instead, think constantly about relationship, about service, about value. And then you can pitch as early and as often as possible, as long as you are doing them a favor. And then you're not just trying to get them to make you money. Which is ironic, because when you use your follow-up sequence and your broadcast in a positive way, in a valuable way, you do make money. Well, that's it for this edition. Come visit us at nicheology.com, where we help you find your niche, build your list, and launch your product. Till next time, don't forget, success is not an accident.